How is the software defined networking model different than the model we have today? Let's take the case of an Ethernet switch. So you can imagine an Ethernet switch has ports, has a data plane, and a control plane. The data plane contains specialized hardware that can rapidly forward, in some, in some cases, modify packets. The control plane is more general purpose software and general purpose CPU, and the control plane essentially configures the behavior of the data plane. The control plane is relatively slow, as it is a general purpose CPU, and typically a fairly low end one, but it is where the features are contained. So when you have features such as rate limiting or access control lists or features to enhance security or reduce broadcasts or allow the device to operate as a network address translation gateway or as a firewall. The control plane is where those features are essentially implemented in software and then that control plane will configure the data plane to sort of carry out those features. You can think of the control plane as holding the value of the switch. So those features which are valuable to that switch are developed in the control plane and exists in the control plane's firmware. So when you get a particular vendor switch, they may differentiate themselves from another vendor by offering different features in their control plane. So getting back to how software-defined networking and OpenFlow are different than the typical switch in uh, software-defined network, the control plane and the data plane are separate devices. So imagine we take this Ethernet switch and we slice it in half and we take the control plane and remove it from the data plane. The control plane becomes, in the parlance of OpenFlow, the OpenFlow controller. And the data plane communicates with the control plane using a standard protocol called OpenFlow. And the control plane, as it did before, configures the high-speed forwarding of the switch, but the features of the switch, the things that determine what kind of high-speed forwarding rules to put in the data plane, are now running on a centralized controller. And it's software running on a server. Controllers are essentially built on top of conventional servers. A controller might be open source, or it might be something uh, that's provided by a commercial company. In either case, most of the controllers today offer a programming environment, so you might get a set of features that are part of the controller, and then there may be additional modules that you can load onto that controller to provide certain features. So in the past, if you needed to add a new feature to the network, you might have to wait until there was a version of firmware for the network devices you have to implement that feature. In an OpenFlow SDN environment, you could load that feature onto your controller, or you could develop the feature for your controller, and it would be able to implement the forwarding rules necessary to realize that feature in your existing switches. So essentially you've taken where the software development and the features are implemented out of the firmware, which is a relatively closed environment of the switching hardware, and onto a general purpose server, while retaining the high speed forwarding capability of these specially built data planes and the switches. And what allows this to happen in a standard way is the OpenFlow protocol.